What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am making a video that was requested. Sean Graziani, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but this one's for you. You asked about our salt spreaders and which ones we like more. And I believe you asked something about how we saw our routes, but let's start with the spreaders here. So this truck here has a salt dog spreader on it. This is one of the only salt dogs we use. We have this one, plus we have, I believe two spares up at our other shop that we got them all for cheap. That is why we have them. This one happens to work out perfect on this truck. Most of our salt spreaders are Smith spreaders. The reason we go with Smith is it just seems that the build quality is overall better than the salt dogs. We can get Smith parts fairly easy and they work out great for us. So we have, I couldn't even tell you, we have a ton of Smith spreaders. We got two of them here. We got one more here. Let's take a walk. This truck, actually this one has a salt dog tailgate spreader. This one is built into the bed sidewinder. This one is the same thing. Now we have another Smith spreader here and we have another Smith spreader here. So this truck has chain built in to the bed there. So that is a Monroe body. But as you can tell, most of our spreaders are Smith spreaders. So we'll use my truck here for an example. So basically this is a chain driven spreader. All of them that we have here are all chain driven. The most ideal setup is, in our opinion at least, is an auger driven salt spreader and we are going to start switching over. We have one truck up at our other yard that has an auger driven spreader in it and it works great. The reason that we believe auger driven ones are better is because if you look in here, the chain goes back underneath the spreader and goes all the way back to the front. So I don't know, it might be a little hard to see, but basically this chain loops and it just keeps pulling your salt and going back under. And what that does is it brings salt back under your spreader. So you end up having a lot of fall off underneath and you have to wash it out where an auger driven one is a solid spreader underneath. There is a piece of stainless there. So none of your salt ever goes underneath. It all just stays inside and then it comes and it falls down and goes out on your road. So that is a main thing of why we like the auger ones better. Obviously we don't have them, but like I said, we will be switching over. So besides that, that's pretty much the only like big difference another thing you'll have that is different is your bearings here rather than having four bearings you got two here and then you have two up in the front you only have two bearings you have one in the front this way and one in the back this way so less bearings to work with less things you have to grease less basically less things that you have to worry about so that is another thing also the auger spins it pulls from the front and it pulls from the back at the same time so you're not just pulling the back and then letting all the salt fall this way you're pulling the bottom of the salt basically and letting the top come down level so that's not too big of a, uh, a thing to worry about really it all the salt's going to come out unless you're getting wet and it's raining on your salt and then you're getting your salt to freeze up and then obviously you're not going to have a good day but most of our salt spreaders will be covered during a storm so you don't have to worry about getting water on there you'll pull your tarp out cover it and good to go so that's something you don't really have to worry about but overall i believe the quality is better parts is easy to get uh salt dog ones the ones that we have gotten have all been super cheap. We've got them for like a thousand bucks, give or take, and move right along. So 
nothing holding us up. I don't know the exact cost of these Smith spreaders that we have, but I know they are a lot more expensive and you pay for what you get. But most of um most of them you don't really have an issue with. Like if you're doing all your maintenance, you're doing bearings, you're greasing everything, you're making sure that you are doing your maintenance and you're not just letting the salt eat away at everything, then you don't really have to worry about much. One other thing is these chains do seize up sometimes. So with an auger one, you're really never gonna seize as long as you keep everything greased and whatnot then you really won't have any issues but i don't know what else there is really to go over about them they're pretty straightforward they all basically work the same whether it's electric driven or hydraulic driven i'll i don't know if we have an electric one here oh actually we do but it's not in the truck so this is obviously hydraulic you got spinner motor there chain motor there all plugged in so we throw these mud flaps on here just so when you're throwing your salt on the road you're not throwing it back onto your truck and getting your truck covered in salt but let me see if we have an electric one over here this is an electric one but this is a tailgate spreader so obviously you have electric wires into your motor here which spins your auger that's down in there so here this is this is an auger. Let me pop this down real quick. Come on. This way. So if you look down in here, get that angle iron out of there. I don't know why that's even in there. So if you look there, you have an auger. So that basically will pull your salt this way and then it'll come from this side and pull this way and you dump down onto your little spinner here. So that's really the... Come on, let me, let me put this right here for a second. So, the augers are nice because you don't really have to worry about anything like, for example, one bearing there. Oh, the other bearings in here. You can't see it. But yeah, you have two bearings rather than four bearings. So less to worry about. But let's continue over here and see if we have an electric one. There you go. So obviously you have electric running to your motors and no hydraulics on this truck this truck is identical to the truck that we have inside pretty much this one you have your sander mounted right on the frame the other one is a flatbed but the other truck has full central hydraulics on it this truck will be going to get central hydraulics right now it's staying as it is but that just shows you the difference in electric versus hydraulic so both of these oh actually this one is electric as well see right here you have your wires there this one is obviously much smaller and this one is electric or hydraulic this one's electric as well so they're all basically the same the only difference is what controls it but the way that they run is identical so if for example with the with the auger driven as you see here you have a bearing there and a bearing there the auger one you'd have one bearing here which would just spin the auger this way and you'd have one on the back but yeah that is pretty much it i know you asked something about how we salt the roads um basically if it's a heavy storm and it's going to be snowing for a while we will salt throughout the storm and get some salt down just to help with the the hard pack and basically keep it melting while we're plowing but if it's a quick storm or we're going through and doing a final push off we will just clear the whole road then go back and either you'll either salt while you're pushing your last road off or you'll go through and drive through it once without plowing and throw some salt down that's what i like to do usually is you can go right down the center of the road hit both lanes and then you're good to go 
but everybody has their own preference on how they want to do it. We don't micromanage them on that. If they want to do it when they are going through to push their last, last clear off, then they can do it. If they want to go through again and drive another route, when they're done, they can do that. So it's really no big deal. It's whatever you prefer. But you just have to keep in mind that your salt throws heavier one way than the other. Every truck is a little bit different. I'm used to my truck, so I know how it spreads. Everybody that drives their trucks has been driving their trucks for years, so that everybody's used to it. The one truck inside, we do have a new driver coming, so he's gonna take that out, run it around through his route before we have a storm, get used to it, and figure out what he likes. But I think that pretty much wraps it up. If you guys have any questions or comments, anything that I missed, definitely let me know, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.